I'm Rifa. Welcome to the series English Part of Speech. This class is part of the series created by Faculty of Humanities, Bina Nusantara University, to help you understand the part of speech for improving your written and spoken communication. After watching the video, students are expected to understand the kind, the use, and meaning of countable and uncountable nouns in the sentence. And the second, understand the kind, the use, and meaning of collective noun in the sentences. Are you ready? Let's start the lesson. Understanding countable and uncountable noun. In English grammar, countable nouns are individual people, animals, places, things, or ideas which can be counted. For example, computer, two houses, and others. Uncountable nouns are not individual objects, so they cannot be counted, such as water, air, traffic, equipment, English, and others. Notice that singular verbs are used with singular countable nouns, while plural verbs are used with plural countable nouns. Take a look at this example. There are at least 20 Indonesian restaurants in Little Asia. Kevin took a lot of photographs when he went to Bali. Your book is on the kitchen table. How many candles are on that birthday cake? There is a big black dog running around the neighborhood. We can identify the uncountable nouns from its kind, such as liquids, water, juice, milk, beer, abstract noun, sugar, flour, salt, rice, materials, wood, plastic, metal, paper, food such as fruit, meat, cheese, bread, abstract ideas, time, information, love, beauty, so, how to measure the uncountable nouns? For example, liquids. I have a glass of water. So we use a glass. I have two liters of milk. Okay, for example, for powders. I have one kilogram of salt. I need two kilograms of flour. Materials and food, for example. I ate two pieces of visa. I need pieces of paper. We also need some sometimes. I need some water. I need some information. Notice that singular verbs are always used with uncountable nouns. Just like the example, there is no more water in the university lake. Please help yourself to some cheese. I need to find information about the competition's winners. They seem to have a high level of intelligence. Please take good care of her equipment. So all with the singular. So, well, this is all about the first sessions. Ready for the next? Sure, let's go to the discussion of collective nouns. Understanding collective nouns. Collective nouns are names for a collection or several peoples or things. Just like example, our class took a field trip to Jakarta. 
Everyone in the audience applauded loudly when the winner ap appeared on the stage. My mother comes from a huge family. She is the oldest one of nine kids. So these are the examples of the least collective noun for peoples, such as staff, committer, formation, class, band, crew, gang, group, host. And the next is the example of collective noun for things, such as convoy, pack, album, clutch, mass, bundle, bunch, bowel. And here the example of collective noun for animals, string, herd, ravel, ban, herb, colony, army. So now you understand about collective noun, then you can use it to make your sentence well structured. Let's move to the last topic in this session, understanding the compound noun. Compound nouns are words for people, animals, place, things, or ideas made up of two or more words. For example, toothpaste, father-in-law, ice cream. So these are the way how to make compound nouns. For example, compound nouns can meet with two nouns. Let's just wait at this bus stop. I love watching fireflies on a warm summer night. Common noun can be made with adjective and a noun. Let's watch the full moon come up over the mountain. Please erase the blackboard for me. Compound noun can be made with a verb and noun. Be sure to add bleach to the washing machine. Let's be sure to say somewhere with a swimming pool. Compound noun can be made with a noun and a verb. He always get up before sunrise. I really could use an updated hairstyle. Compound nouns can be made with a verb and preposition. Check out this at noon. Please remember to schedule your dog's annual checkup. Compound nouns can be made with noun and prepositional phrase. My mother-in-law is the kindest person I know. And compound nouns can also be made for prepositions and noun. Do you believe in past lives? This city is vibrant, so it's hard to believe it has a thriving criminals under word. And the last, compound nouns can be made with a noun and adjective. We need a truck full of much for the garden. So here are the exercises for you. Please write down the answer on the comment student box below. There are five questions. So you can take a look at the question and answer with your understanding. So how about now? I believe you've got some information on the English noun. If you want to learn very well, apply it to yourself. Practice to identify the noun in the sentence and use in your communication. Don't forget to do the exercise and write down the answer in the comment box below. I wish you have a happy time of learning. Thank you for joining my lesson and see you in other videos. Bye for now.